So Everesting is a challenge where you either on foot or on a bike have to ascend the height of Everest, so 8,848 metres. And the rules are pretty simple, you just have to do it all in one go, so you're not allowed to sleep. Um, and then yeah, you choose anywhere you want in the world and then it's measured and it's verified via Strava, like the activity app. So you find your segment and then you do it and then you send it off to be verified and hopefully you get awarded the Everest. So my attempt, um, I decided to do it on Sleeve Donard because it's like the longest continuous steep climb anywhere around here. Um, and if you go from the saddle to the summit, it's 250 meters of height gain. And so I worked out that if I did that 36 times, then that would be the height of Everest. Um, I quite like steep hills, so it allowed me to get the whole run done. And the whole run was only 32 miles then. If you choose something that's not so steep, then you have to run a hell of a lot longer. Um, and I didn't really want to do 60 miles running in a day. So yeah, it was 32 miles long um, and 36 times from the saddle to the summit of Sleeve Donald. Obviously the whole thing's pretty hard. Um, you are climbing a lot and running down a lot. Actually, the, the climbing wasn't the hardest part at all. I found the climbing quite easy, just getting a rhythm and just go for as fast as you can. It's the downhills that really make you suffer. Um, and it's really steep, it's really rocky coming down that bit of Sleeve Donard. And after about 20 laps, my legs started giving me real grief on the way down. So from laps sort of 20 to 36 or 35, yeah, the downhill was really, really killing me. And actually I was half an hour ahead of world record pace after 20 laps. By the time I got to my 35th lap, I was only about 30 seconds ahead of world record pace. So I'd lost a lot on those downhills. And then after the attempt was finished, I still had to get down off the mountain. So I'd been running for 11 and a quarter hours and then I still had to get down from the saddle to, to Newcastle. Um, and then it started raining and hailing and it was real hard work so yeah actually getting to the bottom was was tough as well so what advice would i give to people um i'd say that you need to find somewhere it's probably picking the segment is the most important bit so find somewhere that you're happy that you'll be able to spend the whole day most people who do an everest take the best part of 24 hours so it's got to be somewhere that you're kind of comfortable spending a whole day um, and then just yeah make sure you get the eating right because um, you're gonna have to eat constantly and also if you're going to do it and it's going to take 24 hours be prepared for the fact it's going to be dark a lot of the time because that'll freak a lot of people out i was lucky i was i was out and it was light the whole time but yeah it takes a lot of people a lot longer would i do it again um simple answer no <laughs> not a chance um i've been asked that by quite a lot of people i suppose i beat the world record by two minutes um and if i'd missed it by two minutes I might have been tempted to go again but to be honest like now nah, someone's gonna beat my record and that that's cool that is fine and they might smash it to pieces but I'm not gonna go back like it's a one-time only